Greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you so much for yet another opportunity to spend a few moments with you today and uh, just feed ourselves, surround ourselves with the Word of God. Be enriched and be blessed. You know, as we speak the Word, as we hear the Word, it's very interesting. The Bible tells us that God makes a note of those who spend time talking about Him. It's in Malachi, uh, I think it's after 3 or 4, where God is saying He makes a note of those who spend time talking about Him. And No, we're not together in person, but at least we're taking some time to be in the Word and listen to the Word being ministered to us. God's making a note of it. We are learning this week about being imitators of God as dear children, uh, as the Apostle Paul instructed in Ephesians 5 verse 1. And we're just looking at different aspects or dimensions of what it means or what it would mean to imitate God. Today, I want to bring our attention to the fact that if, when, when we are imitating God, we will do as God does. That's exactly what the Apostle Paul highlights right there in Ephesians 5 and verse 2, the very next verse. He says, and walk in love as Christ has also loved us and given himself for us. And it goes on. So he says, be imitators of God and walk in love as Christ. In other words, you know, just the way Christ walked in love and demonstrated that for us. You walk in love and demonstrate that, being an imitator of God. So as imitators of God, there are many ways we can do as God does. And perhaps the one way that would really sum up everything would be to simply say, walk in love. Because God is love. And everything he does, does it out of love. In the book of Jeremiah, chapter 9 verse 24 God says let him who glories glory in this that he understands and knows me that I am the Lord exercising loving kindness judgment and righteousness in the earth for in these things I delight so God is saying I am the God who exercises who does these things loving kindness that is expressions of mercy and kindness and goodness and love judgment that means what is just what is fair and righteousness, that is what is true, what is holy, what is pure. Those are the works of God. And as imitators of God, we must learn to do as God does. May all that we do be expressions of loving kindness, of justice, fairness, equity, and righteousness, purity, integrity, honesty, truthfulness. Because when we do those things, we are doing as God does. We are imitating our Heavenly Father as dear children. So today, in the choices you have to make, perhaps in your workplace, in your school, in your college, with your friends, in your home, in your family, determine to do loving kindness, justice, and righteousness. Let's pray. Father, help us, Lord, to imitate you. Do as you would do. Empower us by your Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.